Welcome to Admin Transaction Types Predefined Notes. In this section, I will explain how you are able to create, edit, or delete predefined notes to, that are related to transaction types. So begin by selecting the Admin tab, scrolling to Transaction Types, and here I am going to sort this by business type, just so we don't have so many to look at. I'm going to select tax preparation. And this third column over here, you will see a notepad with a pencil. And this is the icon for predefined notes. So you've seen these probably in a couple other sections within the software. It does work the same way. We've just now added them to transaction types. So you can see, because this one is orange, so that one already does have predefined notes related to amendments. If we would like to see what those predefined notes are, we can select the icon. And so this is related to amendments. So if we are recording a transaction, a fee for an amendment, and we want to track why we're doing that amendment, we have created these predefined notes to, to go with that. But I will go back and show you how to create a new one. Let's say we are going to create some predefined notes for a consultation fee or a client who walked. So we'll select the predefined note. The description is just going to show the drop down. Show in the drop down. So let's say we type low refund. And the predefined note is going to be the note that actually shows up. You can have it say the same thing, or you could put more descriptive information in the predefined note if you would like. So we'll just say, this was just a low refund, so that's why this client chose to, to walk or just got a consultation. Maybe they had no filing requirement. So we could put one for no filing requirement. And maybe the predefined note could say that there was no earned income. So they didn't need to file. So we've now created uh, two predefined notes that are related to, to that transaction type for uh, consultation or walked. If you want to edit a predefined note, all you need to do is select the edit pencil and you can edit one. Or if you wanted to delete a predefined note, you can just select the trash can. So we will save it. Now I will show you where you can see this within a client's file. So if we go to a client's file and we are under the transaction information section, we can select one for, let's, we have some in there for amendment. So we select the amendment. It's got the fee in there. And you can see here for predefined note, if we select the drop down, these are the different predefined notes we can choose from. So we can choose remove dependent, it puts that note in there, and you save it. So that way you can track why you're doing these fees. This might be helpful for, for bookkeeping, if you have you know reoccurring uh, fees for bookkeeping and you want to put exactly what those fees are and put some notes, you can do that. So that is really all that you need to know about adding predefined notes to transaction types. Thank you.